Hmm. I'm suspicious of movies made by guys named Clem. Yeah, o- only football teams should involve Clems. Ah, a visit faux Danta. <laughs> Font humor, folks. We love it. Yeah. Music performed on a Lowry organ by an elf on lithium. I'm sorry, kid, I didn't catch that. Good night, What the hell are they speaking in tongues? Mommy said good night today for me. All right, I'll tell him good night for both of you. But mostly for you, Ann, because Daddy likes you best. Oh, please. You had a drink already. Now, children, it's time to go to sleep. You know we can't afford a second drink of water. <laughs> oh, Dick, I wonder if I Dad swear it's like some Carpathian dialect. <laughs> yes, Anne. Far up at the North Pole, Santa is reading your letter now. The North Pole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the North Pole. <laughs> Pasadena. <laughs> yeah, when Anne read this out loud, it sounded like, Why can't I think of that? Yeah, this job would be a lot easier if I knew how to read. Why not? Boys and girls all over the world wonder how Santa is. I've got some girls sent to me in my nosy character. Oh, Flavie, come here. Interesting. I didn't know that David Lynch made a Christmas film. Magic color cup and bring two children here to visit me. Find me. Let's grab the first two kids you can find. It doesn't matter. All Christmas Eve trip. Your own words are my command. An even shorter mini dress shall be your reward. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. What the hell? They clear the shots! Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Santa sent me here to take you to the North Pole. He needs Hurry some cheap up and labor. It's just a short hop in the magic helicopter. What, behind the painting? Sales cast the North Pole. Hold tight, kids. We're coming in for a snowy landing. Hang on, kids. The pilot's been hit. We're going down. We're going down. Before you know it, Dick and Ann are hurried to the castle entrance. Conveniently marked, Santa. We see the busy elves hurrying to and fro. But mostly fro. Ah, the throne room in Santa's castle, then. Welcome to Santa Land. I'm very glad you came to see. Yeah, wait a minute. I'll be in my cage, sir. Get on my lap and let me tell you about Santa, but you might not know. Like, did you know Santa did a nickel in Greenville for armed robbery? The children are amazed. Here they are, sitting on Santa's lap. Well, struggling on Santa's lap. Every year, just before Thanksgiving, he starts the merry yuletide by visiting towns and cities all over the world. Exotic ports like Hoboken. He makes his jolly trip in many different ways. He arrives on river boats and finds many new friends all along the way. Wherever he goes, he always has loads of fun. Why, here he is in Dallas in 1963. <laughs> Oh, yes. In May towns, the marching bands turn out and step lively to the merry Christmas tunes. The little elves parade, too. Oh, good for the elves, not letting the protesters get them down. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? They even have a big mailbox to help Santa collect his letters from the boys and girls. Boys and girls never have to know that it goes right to the landfill after the parade. See that chimney? I'll let you in on a little secret. Santa almost didn't fit in it, and Mrs. Santa Claus has informed him that he must stop eating so much. Santa then reminded Mrs. Claus that she had never signed a prenup, and that all the nice jewelry she wears is technically still on loan. Ho, ho, ho! I'm not wearing any pants and nobody knows it. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho! With all the big new shopping centers opening everywhere, Santa has to use his new rock to get around. Nice shot. Welcome, Paul. He still uses his reindeer on Christmas Eve. 
They can get him just anywhere, and he's so proud of them, too. He's also proud of his new sidekick, Prince of Space. The Sandalan would be complete without a tour of the village toy shop. The Joey, the one man health parade. <laughs> Every window have little toy people jumping around. Jumping? Here they make the tinsel and the Christmas tree ornaments. Wow, look at them jump. Jumping around. In this little store, they make the ribbon. Turn out the wreaths and make your home so bright and cheery. It fills the air with Christmas spirit. Yes, unceasing tedium is a type of Christmas spirit. Here are the little girls. Dolls are dressed with fine and fancy stitch. And halos, too, for some reason. And oh, yes, baby brother is quite a helper, too. Duh, I'm a good helper. I make my aunt move a lot. Every Helping. doll must have a head and also have a body. But no soul. These busy elves on spinning lays turn out the long, thin bodies while others paint their saucy faces and put them all together. Yes, each face is caked with a thick Bernays sauce. Saucy, saucy. You know, I don't approve of toys building other toys. It's, it's an unholy abomination. Too, like pies and cakes and cookies. This little store delights in making all those yum yum goodies. Yum yum goodies is also a Japanese website which all decent people should avoid. A tour of Santa's Happy Land would not be quite complete without a visit to his big toy warehouse. Not far from the street. Morning, Nancy. There's Morning, sir. Toys for everyone. It's really a big treat. Dear Easter Bunny, I am seeking more lucrative employment. Here is my resume. And here are some more toys you can't have, so don't touch them. There's bears and dogs and cats galore. There's lions, tigers too. They won't bite, and they don't fight, because they're just made for you. May not apply to you specifically. Those busy elves are everywhere, and Santa needs them too. Oh, to prepare a sleigh. His rocket. Oh, rocket, sorry. Turn them on, those funny little toys, the monkey drums and drums and drums. He never does get tired. Our old mother bear, she scrubs and rubs. The rubbing makes everyone uncomfortable. To hold their food and do a lick of work. For little girls, a doll is fun to wash, to dress, and spank. Spanking feature subject to local law. Of every kind of <laughs> How Anne enjoy these pretty dolls, and Dick shows no... I guess right. Dick's just not in the mood to wash, dress, or spank. No, no washing for him. A kitchen full of household toys will keep the youngster busy. She'll cook and scrub the whole day long, then serve a TV dinner. Yep, she serves food to television sets. She's an odd kid. But I have a science project. Keep working, kid. All children like to make some noise, and Santa says it's music. A toy piano or a drum will give them hours of fun. Hours meaning minutes. The older children like to build, and here's a boat to prove it. But I'm also happy to use my fist to prove it, if you think you're man enough. <laughs> For Dick and Ann, their visit's almost over, but Santa saved his pride and joy till last. Ooh. We'll take his rocket to the Super Toy Town trains. All aboard! And you'll be cooking and scrubbing again. Dick, put your feet up. Grab a cigar. <laughs> it's Whoosh. the 50s. Whoosh. And here we are. Now, wasn't that fun? You don't really want an answer to that, do you, narrator? A breathtaking view of Santa's wonderful trains. I wonder if Anne will be as excited as Dick. What a filthy narrator! There's of all kinds, coming and going, starting and stopping, logging trains, freight trains, streamliners, full-time choo-choos. I'll bet Daddy would enjoy this, too. But since we kidnapped you away from Daddy in the middle of the night, that's not gonna happen now, is it, kids? Look at that village. There must be a whole town of toy houses. Seized by eminent domain to build a huge toy mall. do we have to look at it, Santa? Just look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I don't Keep looking. Look at it. 
Look out, kids, there's no hospital at the North Pole. Most of the elves are so inbred, they don't even survive a common cold. And look, a toy circus with sideshows and a big three-ring circus tent. Did you ever see such a wonderful show? I never have. I'm as excited as Dick. Look at that circus parade. Look at it for how long? Just start looking. I'll tell you when you're done, kids. Look. Santa? Do these trains ever wreck? They do. Garsh, that's fun. Oh, no wrecks today. No wrecks? Garsh! This is loads of fun. We could watch them for hours. And you will. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> Look at it. Look, a toy coal mine. And toy union strike busters. Do we really have to leave, Santa? It's time to go back home. We have certainly enjoyed it, but we know that you have to start on your long journey. Actually, I subcontract all that out to China now. I'm so glad you came. Dick and Ed, always remember the entire Christmas celebration is to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ Ooh. hundreds of years ago in the wonderful spirit of Christmas. They edited and out his know. dire warning about the rapture. and have a very creepy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nothing says Merry Christmas like this. <laughs> <laughs>